majestic white oak. And the downhill we go as a few plaintive mosquitoes hover. The strange polar vortex spring and summer keeps wiping out waves of them with sudden cool nighttime temperatures that they're not accustomed to. It's been really fun. And then the ticks are getting clobbered by the extreme dry days we're getting because they're very susceptible to desiccation. So it's really not a bad year to be stumbling around in the woods, considering. There's some of the old white cedar stumps we saw coming in. And now we're passing the unusual boulder heaps around here. It'll be overgrown. And then before long we'll be, look at this. I wonder what its purpose was. It seems man-made. It's laced with huge poison ivy pieces. <laughs> the mystery rock heap. And they even line the trail with flat stones. This is old. It, must have, it was probably to make better traction for horses when it was a carriage road or something. Looks like a vehicle might have been through here at some point. Oh yeah, they probably had something Looks like they were trimming out stuff, so they must have had some kind of thing in here to haul the equipment. That chipmunk is not pleased, wherever he is. And another straight away. And there's the CSX tracks up ahead. really straight line at this point. This 
sounds of cars aren't too far away. That swamp we initially passed through where it's bushy and thick is at hand. Wild roses going to town. And a thick sedge carpet. And voila, the road rises up to greet us as we, we re-enter the residential zone. Yep, I see cars. We have figured it out. <clears throat> now it's just a relatively short hop. And the parking lot will be ours. A turn is indicated as we cross busy 27. The final distance to the parking lot. And there it is. Look out, there's some poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> 